As I mentioned in the video on the WYSIWYG editor, Drupal comes with CK editor, which is a what you see is what you get editor that can be configured for a variety of uses. Go ahead and click on configuration and click on text formats and editors, please. You'll notice that basic HTML and full HTML use the text editor and they've been assigned to authenticated user and administrator. Now a quick introduction to user roles here, something we're going to cover later. But in Drupal, a user belongs to a role and each role is given a permission. In this case, the basic HTML is allowed to be used by an authenticated user and an administrator and a CK editor toolbar has been assigned. Similarly, with full HTML, well, you get the idea. Let's click on the CK editor for the basic HTML. Go ahead and click configure. And here you're able to assign it to different roles choose a text editor if you want, and then give them the buttons that they're allowed to use. You'll remember this is the active toolbar that we had for a basic authenticated user for the basic HTML text format. So what happens if I want to add one of these buttons to my active toolbar? Well, it's really simple. Let's choose the paste from Word one because honestly, it's probably one of the more important ones. Just click and drag until a little blue box opens up and then you'll add it. We can even add a new group here and let's call it copy and paste. So now I can click and drag that into the copy and paste section. Let's go ahead and add all of them. And there we have it. So now I've added three new buttons to my toolbar for the basic HTML format. And honestly, pasting from Word is something that every toolbar needs because most often users get information right out of Word. As well, we're able to allow for inline images and image uploads with a maximum file size of 32 meg and an unlimited width and height. You can change this if you want, as well as you can play with these various settings down here. For instance, if you wanted to always change a URL into a link rather than manually linking it, well, you can click that button. There's a lot more down here, like the filter processing order. And if you click on the HTML tags, you're able to actually update what HTML tags an editor can add when they look at the source. So this is a really powerful WYSIWYG editor and configuration area. If you've made those changes, go ahead and click Save Configuration. And let's look at our content real quickly. And now I'm going to edit our Welcome to Drupalville node. And you'll see that because I had full HTML turned on, nothing has changed. But I can pretty confidently change this to basic HTML. All of that is still there. Of course, I can't see my blocks anymore because that tab is not available. But my paste links are now available to me. Just because this is really silly and ugly, let's go ahead and get rid of that image, click on it, and just hit the backspace or delete key, and it will be gone. Click Save and keep published. All right, once again, click on Configuration. Scroll down, click on Text Formats and Editors, and this time let's configure the full HTML toolbar. You'll notice once again, we've got a few more buttons in here. We still don't have those pasting buttons. So let's go ahead, show the group names, and let's add a group on the second line this time called copy and paste. And now I can click and drag those into my copy and paste row. Similarly down here, Again, you've got all of those options. Go ahead and click Save Configuration. And let's go back this time to our Welcome to Drupalville article again. Change it to Full HTML. Click Continue. And now you'll see we have two rows of buttons and our editor is all set. 
You should take some time to play around with CK Editor in order to make sure you understand it all, what all the buttons do, as well as how to configure them for different users and text formats.